Hello guys, I'll be doing another unboxing of something different. Um, so this here is the Asus uh, Maximus Z690 Extreme Motherboard. So this is one of um, Asus's um, top gaming motherboards and actually can't wait to unbox it. But let's have a look at the package. So this is what you see at the front. So you've got uh, Windows 11 ready, Wi-Fi 6E. <clears throat> and the new Intel chips, so 12th gen Intel and DDR5, so the latest uh, RAM has sticks as well, which is good. And you can use DDR4 as well. So, showing you PCIe 5.0 ready, so that's good. Asus Aura. So, yeah, let's quickly have a look at the back. So, that's the side of it. Quite heavy as well, not shimmy. So, this is the back, so it's showing off the motherboard here. Um, showing all, like, all the chips here, the power chips and that and it's nice little extras here such as like the anime matrix LED little screens here so you can put like little G GIFs, GIFs or whatever they could you can put them on there and a little OLED display there as well which is awesome and um, yeah all the specs and that here but the main thing is let's get in and have a look let me turn this heavy thing quickly so let's open it so firstly okay so we get introduced for the motherboard first okay so that's nice uh where do i start <laughs> uh, i might have to look like this we're gonna get to the motherboard in a minute and we'll quickly see what's in the box So there's all different compartments here. Let's have a look. So in this pocket, we put. Let's see. Okay, this unit here is where you can put um, two M.2s and plug it right next to the RAM. So extra storage is like it's here if you need it. I mean, like you need to put um, M.2 in there. But there you have it. So that's that. Uh, let's see what this is. This is a oh the screwdriver, the Acer screwdriver, so that you got your toolkit there. So that's nice. That's a little extra there. Um, oh, this is a little slide back. I'm gonna have a look at that right now quickly. There you go. That's a DAC, so you can plug that into. Oh, it's a Type C, so you can plug it into your phone or anything can have better sound than that here as well which is good so mobile and PC in. nice okay let's have a look at the other stuff so we'll get it back in there in a minute this is another unit so you get a nice accessories let's have a look uh, I'm gonna quickly have a look what you can put here oh see look you've got nice connectors here. these are for the fans so you put more fans in there and other connectors here for fans and that and RGB so that's a nice little unit they give definitely worth it paying a lot of money you should give you nice stuff as well extra as well so put it there for now uh, 30, is this 32? not sure but yeah it give you a USB as well maybe with all the Softwares and that on it, or you can just use it as a normal storage uh, unit. So that's alright. Okay, so that's done in that section. Uh, let's start here. A lot of other connectors. This looks like oh, this is the Wi Fi antennas here for the Wi Fi 6. So you can plug that at the back of the motherboard. And then yeah, you got the antennas, the big antennas as well. So that's good. Uh, let's start in this other small one here. Oh, there's a lot of goodies in here. Let's have a look. Handful of stuff. Okay, uh, that's nice. You get Asus Gaming Badge, the real guy. That's alright. Uh, not sure what's in there, but we're going to have a look in a minute. Extra screws. And that's another connector. That looks like a extender for your fans. 
What is this? Oh, this is a graphics card bracket to help hold the graphics card. That's good. Little extra accessories like that. That's nice. Uh, other like connectors here. So this unit, this is where all the connectors and other extras are. Double sided magnetic tape. So that's good. And other washers and wires. That's alright. Put that there nicely. And the chicken's box. Extra connectors where you can plug in more USB connectors and try to focus, and that's quite hard. It's alright. Uh, so far, good stuff, but let's have a look. We're going to see what's in there in a minute. Okay. Man, in this section, oh, it just lifts like that, okay. This looks like all the instructions. Yes, it is. Instructions and what's this? Yeah, that's it. Instructions and booklet. And I think maybe stickers as well. Okay. Nice. We'll put that there. But there's another compartment here. Wow. Even more stuff. So this looks like a oh keyring. It's a quite nice keyring. And more goodies, which are wires and these like temperature sensors, yeah. More SATA cables for your hard drives or anything else, Blu-ray drives, up to you. That's one. Oops, it's not good. I've dropped it. That's two. That's some other extender. More as well, more sad cables here. And extenders. Okay. So it's nice little touches there. So now the main piece, what we want to have a look here. So this is the motherboard. And I've got to say, well, that's heavy. That's feels like a few kg right here. It just shows you the quality and the build. But let's have a look. Let's take this off. I was about to say there's a lot of scratches if I was plastic. Okay, let's take this out. Wow, it's heavy. Okay. Just going to quickly have a look at it. Firstly, I've got to say this is one of the most beautiful motherboards I've ever seen in my life. Look at that. Just look how good that looks. How awesome does that look? Look at that. This will look crazy in your builds. Look at, you look at even the back as well. Extreme. The rogue symbol. Very nice. Just looking at the bottom quickly and other stuff. Okay, just put that there nicely. So there you go, your 12th gen can go in here. So I'm thinking, um, thinking to go for a maybe into i9 1200, um, 12,900k, uh, or the KS. Uh, just comment down which one should I get. I just actually need help. I actually don't know what one to get the K or the KS or for the into i9. So help me, guys. I'm not sure, <laughs> but. Let's have a look. So, this is where your um, M.2 goes, you know, from that slot, from that little unit you can put the DIM to. And that goes there. So, yeah, so your RAM can go in there. Uh, DDR4 or DDR5 up to 128 gig. But I wouldn't recommend um, the top, like, top RAM at the moment. I think it's not compatible yet, but there will be updates later on in the year. So, eventually. I'm thinking maybe to go 64 gig. We obviously, I mean, we'll have a look, but well, we'll see there. So yeah, that's fine. Um, so here's the little OLED screen here. I think it's black or white. I think as well. But it shows you um, your temperatures or little animation there. So that's quite um, nice as well. 
uh, the little anime display here. So look, this looks like a screen, but an anime style. So you'll you'll see eventually. And so yeah, I can't wait to build this as well. Uh, let's have a look at more stuff. So yeah, in, in this section here, of course the graphics cards. So you can put two, but it's quite tight here. So more likely, definitely you want to cover because these cards are quite fat now. As well, especially the thirty series. Yeah, like that wide now, proper, especially the 39. And this is a nice bar I like here. So there's a button right here, which is actually going to open that slot there for the um, graphics card. So I'm going to press it right now. Yeah, I like that. It's such an easy unit because you've got all that metal around there. So it's very hard to like, press it yourself. I'm going to try it now quickly. Okay, it's alright, but it's a nice little unit there. So you've got all the connectors here, your so it's 24 pin for the to power the motherboard here, you've got them here as well. But they're all on the side. There's my other motherboard to go on the top, so I need to get used to all the side slots here now. Start and all that. So yeah, I'm gonna look into this. Um and so under here, so we've got screw one, two, three, four screws I think. Under here, you can actually stick um, M.2s under. I think it's four or five, and actually one of them is a 5.0, and 5.0 is not even out yet. It's only 4.0, which is the latest. So it shows you this is future-proof. It's motherboard as well. But yeah, I'm actually amazed about that. So this was this is gonna have to last me anyway, because my this build here I got already. Uh, so I think Z490, yeah, so quite late now, so I'm just starting to upgrade. But I just need help on what um, Intel i9 to get, so I need your guys' help and go through there. Um, so let's have a quick look. It's heavy. There's all the connectors on the bottom. So I'll keep quiet now, just can have a look. So yeah, now let's quickly have a look at the back. I so so you've got some good connectors here um, for your like speakers and that. So that's very good. Um, so they all gold plated as well. So very nice. Uh, these are oh, you even got optical out and in, which is very good. I mean, it's optical out, yeah. So that's good. You got your three point ones. I think I think they're three point ones. I need to have a look again. Uh, they should say actually, look at it. But there you go, you got Type C's, two Type C's there. They're fast ones as well. And you got one Thunderbolt there, Thunderbolt 4, which is very good. And a HDMI, which you won't be using, you'll be using it for on your graphics card. But And then you got 10 gigabit here as well. So that's good. Some motherboards don't come with that. But the good thing is you get that and you got some other BIOS buttons in that here as well. But yeah, man, this is a fully loaded um, motherboard. But as you can see here, if you see what this clear thing is, it's RGB as well. So you're getting all the bells and whistles right here. But yeah, I can't wait to put that in my PC, but I'm planning to do a new, whole new build. But we, we shall see. But there you have it, guys, this is the motherboard. Um, so yeah, just I need your help on what Intel i9 should I get, the K or the KS? But anyway, thanks, I uh, hope you guys like it and subscribe, thanks for watching.